Hello, my name is Val, and today we will be talking about smart contracts. But first of all, I want to ask you to look through the links bef below under the video. Uh, they take into account the situation in Ukraine and Russia war. Thank you. So, let's get back to smart contracts. But smart contracts is a tool, a tool for decentralized finance. I've prepared one quote for you to understand more, but first of all, I want to say that decentralized finance is special because of decentralization, as the name says. So, short for decentralized finance, DeFi, is an umbrella term for a variety of applications and projects in the public blockchain space, geared toward dis disrupting and traditional finance world. Inspired by blockchain technology, DeFi is referred to as financial applications built on blockchain technologies. As any finance world, it is based on contracts. So, the smart contracts, what are they? The smart part of the contract is in not needing the other party's cooperation to execute the agreement. In Ukraine, um, it is usually used as a third party to sign a contract as a guarantee that other parties are not cheating. Yes, we can sign the contract just between uh, two parties, but nobody is a guarantee in this way. If you need a guarantee in smart contracts, the system itself is a guarantee. Here how it works. Two parties are signing a contract. The data for the contract is taken from the data source, and then when the contract is signed, it is uh, sent to nodes. Every node of the blockchain uh, validates the contract, taking into account the data that is taken from the data source and the data source itself. If the contract is validated, it um, is one block in the blockchain, and no data can be deleted from the chain afterwards. First of all, I will tell you about the advantages. Maybe they are obvious, but maybe not. So what are the advantages? They are speed, efficiency, accuracy, trust, transparency, security and saving. So I think uh, everybody understands why the first is here. Speed, efficiency, and accuracy. Once a condition is met, the contract is executed immediately. Because smart contracts are digital and automated, there is no paperwork, no processes, no time spent reconsulting errors, and etc. The second is trust and transparency. Where there is no third party involved, um, and the system is itself the guarantee, they are trustworthy, these contracts. Mess can't lie. Security. I've already talked about privacy and security in the previous video, so check it out. Savings. Smart contracts does not involve third parties. Moreover, nobody should be involved and check the information. So, you should pay less. But there are disadvantages too, of course. Here they are. The first and the most important one is data verification. This is all because of the absence of centralized data sources. Some solutions are already on the market. For example, Kive, Flux Protocol. You can find more about them in my blog. I will give you the link below. The second is based on the following. A blockchain is a consensus-based system. It means that it only works if every node reaches an identical state after processing every transaction and block. Here I can um, copy the image that was before. So here it is. As you can see, nodes take information from the same data source than uh, the when. Uh, the certificate is created. It takes this information too. But if information changes from time to time, on the one moment 
It's one information, on the other moment, it's other information. In this way, nodes can't validate the information and can't be the guarantee. As a solution, oracles can be an example. Blockchain has oracles, data oracles, I mean, and Flux Protocol is one of them. I've talked about it before. I will give you the link. I can't mm, leave it behind and not mention bugs as every code. Smart contract is a code. It can have bugs. But the solutions are also present on the market. The development systems make it easy for any programmer to create smart contract. And the easier it is, the less bugs you can have. For example, the one we will be talking a bit later is Archway. Last but not least is legalization. On the one hand, some legal academics claim that smart contracts are not legal agreements, but rather means of performing obligations deriving from other agreements. But on the other hand, there could not be theft at all as the system is a guarantee that every party is not cheating. And so there is no need in any government institutions to support. Here we've got to Archway. It is the new startup on the market and it is smart contracts development platform. Here is what the Archway say about their mission. The overarching goal of Archway is to force an array of diverse and sustainable applications by empowering and rewarding developers that build on the network with baked in initiatives and rewards. So here are the features that make it real. Fear reward of the, to the developers. That's whoa. <laughs> Gas rebate to, uh, to end users. Smart contract premium fee and inflation rewards. Archway is a promising startup. Right now we see what a great tool it can be. It is HTTPs for developers as they are rewarded. Their needs are taken into account. Why um, Archway is going to reward developers? Why it can be useful for the Archway? The answer is clear. The network needs the support of developers and the developers need fundings. So it's a win-win situation. This leads to distribution of gas fees to validators and the apps. But there is another side, spam contracts. To make it not useful for the spam contracts, the gas fees are higher for new contracts than for routine transactions. Archway also takes into account various spendings of smart contracts developers depending on the smart contracts uh, itself. Uh, this is why it will support custom fees. Mm, yes, I think it looks like a tasty piece, but... We should wait until it is on the market. So let me summarize everything we, will, we were talking today. I was talking today. Hopefully you have uh, listened to this time. So thank you a lot. Subscribe, follow, and leave your comments below. About Archway, I have just heard last week and I decided to start the project. And while starting the project, I understood that uh, before talking about Archway, I should tell about smart contracts itself. I find this topic very interesting. I assume smart contracts bring us to a safe and sound world. Nobody can cheat. Nobody needs to be trusted. Is that true? In reality, I think yes. Of course, we have some disadvantages. We have huge disadvantages, but they can be fixed. I think we will have another disadvantages in time. When the time passes and we use more and more smart contracts technology. But nevertheless, this is a huge step in finances. As for the archway itself... It's a promising startup. 
I think to reward developers is a cool idea because new developer new developers I'm sorry can grow on the platform uh, they can become better and the platform with them will grow um, more widespread and use it I think it's cool uh, let uh, time pass and the platform work and we will see Anyway, the supporters of this uh, project are also great, so I believe in it. I hope you heard something new, something useful. I'm very happy if you listening to this, because you have listened till the end, and then you can see the sources I use. All the links I will uh, leave to you below. I want to say you again about the Ukraine situation. We have war in here. It's horrible. And I want you to be aware. Don't be silent. Thank you a lot. Have a great day.